Okay, let's analyze what is the best type of business to choose. We will understand that the best business, best type of business is when you can buy a lot and when you can sell a lot and very fast. But anyway, we need to, to choose. Let's start from choosing through few types what we know already. For example, estate business, some producing business, for example, I don't know, producing furniture, whatever, uh, stock market and currency market. And let's uh, analyze and uh, compare them so we're gonna find the best of them where we can get inside and how we can work on it first of all let's understand that uh, the most important thing if you want to buy and to sell a lot it means that you need to buy at a small price and to sell at a bigger price so as soon as you find the best way to put the highest price and at the same time to have customers for that it means that's the best one of the best businesses uh, not every of businesses is on is okay is getting under this low for example if we take the medicine market or I don't know even food for example bread they're regulated by the government so you cannot put the price as big as you want for example if you take furniture a car an estate and so on you can put the highest price you want just there is another thing how much time and if you will sell it so let's see first of all here uh, what is equilibrium price equilibrium price it means but for example if i am asking for an estate i took it for 500 thousand now but i want to sell it to one million it means i'm not sure that i'll find somebody who will buy it if i take if, if somebody is giving for for it 550 it means and i agree with that it is equilibrium price if it is just an a one building and there are a lot of customers of course the price will go up if there is a lot of buildings and no customers of course price will go down so where they meet i mean i want 500 i want 600 thousand somebody is offering 500 thousand if we get agreed at 550 that's okay that's the equilibrium price it means that's the real market price because we can say whatever price it is but if nobody is agreed to sell it or and at the same time to buy it it means there is no price this is the first one the next thing what is important of course is liquidity what means liquidity actually is connected to the first same thing what we just discussed but it's a bit different It's the possibility like to change to exchange uh, the good or, or your business good or your business asset by the way to money so if we take it as an uh, and in fast very fast for example if i uh, with uh, lowest probability of losing money for example if we take the estate it costs 500 if i want to sell it by 550 it could take one two three half uh, three months or even half of half a year so it takes too much time if we take kind of uh, producing of furniture, it's much cheaper and in this case we could like sell it faster if you want. If we take the stock market, as usually when we discuss about stock markets, we take in consideration like London Stock Exchange, New York Stock Exchange and so on, I mean big big uh, markets. So in this case, they trade the, the traded companies are big and popular too, so you'll find always person who will buy your stocks for example apple stocks everybody will could buy you always can buy and always can sell stocks uh, shares of a certain company or even their derivatives it's different type of contracts but anyway it's kind of contracts that are always uh, under sale and always somebody is buying always somebody is selling it that's okay so the lowest liquidity is um, on the state Whatever business you would like, uh, uh, number one, you need the same thing, like to, to check. If you try to sell a Rolls Royce somewhere in a certain country which is very poor, the liquidity is very low for that car, you cannot sell it, nobody will buy it. So we need a product which we can sell, we can buy always and we can sell always. As high as possibility we have this, with the real price I mean. Not if we take an estate and it costs 500,000, I want to sell it by 50,000, of course I'll find very fast. I mean for real price, which is real on the market. So in this case, of course, the money is the, the closest and the highest liquidity they have because this is already money. You mean you change money to money. Uh, next thing what is important, the capital, the turnover and the profit. 
everybody understands, I suppose, the turnover as big as uh, the turnover. It means like I buy one car and sell it, or if I do it every 10 minutes, I mean, it's going, 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 going very fast. Of course, it will be bigger profit. But it's not, all like, not always like this. Sometimes the turnover is big, but a lot of uh, cost of pro cost of producing is inside, cost of price. So finally, you get a small profit. That's bad. Uh, if a profit is big, but the turnover is small. For example, you buy a car by 10,000, but you found uh, somebody some guy who I don't know and sell it by 50,000. It could be good, a profitable, a small turnover, but it's unsta unstable. For sure, it will not continue always. So in that case, if we take a profit as usually under 2% per month, this is a common thing. But if we take more than 5% per month, that's the best way. If you find uh, the possibility where it goes like this, that's good. So if you analyze the state, estate, of course, it's so, so it's lower, the capital, I mean the turnover. Turnover is big, but profit not so big, considering the inflation and so on. Um, and uh, if we take, for example, uh, uh, the movement of... Uh, currency market it is the highest level at no moment i mean it really if you check the euro it is going under one dollar and it's very fast the movement a day movement it's around 200 pips we'll get to understand this okay it's a lot finally another thing ah what is more important also the next thing what is important is the possibility of investment what's the idea for example if i invest one million in a market I don't know, um, we need to consider production production capacity, which need to always also to grow. And we need to understand how much we will sell after. There are There is a um, bottleneck, if you understand what I mean, inside. So it's even if you invest how much you want in a certain business, it doesn't mean that it will grow the same, like in, in average, the same uh, percentage. Uh, it depends on how big is the local market where you sell and so on a lot of things inside if you have a factory and you want to reinvest i don't know a factory cost for example one million you want to invest one hundred thousand more it will not bring you if it brings you for example ten percent a month but it's not real but for example it's, it doesn't mean that one hundred thousand you have more you'll invest and it will bring ten percent from this ten one uh, hundred two uh, as usually you will need the second factory because it means new people, new market where you want to sell it and a lot of things inside. So there are a lot of neck bottles, that's why you cannot do this. Uh, if we analyze the stock market, you don't have so much money anyway to, to get bigger than you are. So it's okay for you. The currency market the same, it's a good one. Next thing what is important to understand is the knowledge and our resources. For example, as uh, big as the business, it has inside a lot of uh, processes that need to be arranged and controlled. Of course, it takes a lot of time and a lot of knowledge and finally a lot of money to cover this. And that, and that means that uh, uh, not every business is very easy. Even in a state, you need a lot of money to start. Uh, we were producing business the same we need a lot of money because a factory costs a lot, really a lot of money at the same time we need to understand that there is a there is threshold uh, for entering the business for example you cannot you can enter for getting in a state you need certain money you cannot get in a state with 1000 pounds for example the same thing you cannot open um, whatever for example you cannot open a, a shop of selling furniture with even furniture you cannot selling shop with 1000 pounds but you can buy some stocks for 1000 pounds it means that the threshold is much lower that's the idea there are three things we need to be considered we need the threshold to understand before opening the business starting the direction so that we can have enough money to get inside at the same time we need to understand the threshold getting out of the business because we get in the business and at a moment we could get out we need to understand how we will get out if i 
uh, get even for example I have a certain amount of money what it be whatever 100 million dollars to open a certain factory and if it doesn't go because of war or something else I need to get out of the business how much money I can get out from this kind of business of course there is a big risk I could get out with uh, half in best way because everything even you take a shop you buy a computer for that shop after one week it costs different price if you want to close it the rent the payments for um, for seller the, the workers and so on there are a lot of uh, wasting wasted money so you cannot get just stop uh, in trading business I mean financial market trading it uh, it is really very easy you can stop whenever you want because the business is in your pocket in your uh, is connected I mean it's a system between the banks and your money is in the bank you just you just um, exchange them to other monies for example if we discuss about currency market but if you talk about stock markets anyway it's through the certain broker and uh, you can stop the deal whenever you want and you can get all the business because nobody press you to pay the rent and so on you pay the rent and everything when you open the deal it's just inside of the deal and when you close the deal the deal is stopped so you may even you don't have so many risk I mean of getting inside the business and outside at the same time we can you can add always a percent, a certain percent. For example, you have a profit around ten uh, percent after a month. You started with one hundred thousand. You made ten thousand. You can put them into the business too, and you will get ten percent from this ten thousand too, not just from the, the one hundred thousand. Connection to geolocation. This is the most important thing now because of the wars. What happens? Uh, whatever business where it would be, it is very connected and. The, very uh, it is a lot uh, connected for example to russia to russian gas and so on you if you are close to this you might even close your business uh, if you your business need to a lot more gas and things like that i mean it's like depending on other countries or on a certain location you can it is uh, anyway a bit of high risk it has to to develop but if this business is online just the internet and you can be wherever in the world you want you don't care so in this case it's less risky of course if you understand how it works uh, another thing important is manipulation manipulation it means when uh, there is a big big guy in the market who change the price as he wishes so for this if you have one third part of the market uh, you own one third part in that case you might change the price as you want yeah, we could take a simple example for example there are 100 i don't know 100 cars in the market the same type cars and they cost all of them. every car cost around 50,000 and uh, if somebody owns free 30 cars he could put the price lower for example 40,000 or 30,000 or even bigger 70,000 but it usually he could put it smaller in this case the small small traders could uh, bankrupt and in this case he get all the market i mean he could ch change the price how he want because he is uh, of course it is illegal but on small markets nobody is checking this if you take big markets and stock markets it's for, first of all it's much more dif difficult to make it and the second there is always regulations and commission who is checking all these things like or even cartel agreements when somebody want to change the price so it is not it's forbidden of course nobody can do this so simple and no, nobody even see you because you're too small trader somebody to to move the price against you but on a certain small market it could be this thing need to be understood uh, what's next next what is important also as much as you want to work the working hours this is the important thing to understand because if uh, for example a factory could work like 24 hours a day stock market doesn't work 24 hours a day uh, estate market doesn't work 24 hours a day because you need a lot of dogs to make and it doesn't work night time but currency market in this case really it's working 24 hours a day just uh, accepting weekends so in this case factory 
uh, everybody understand me, but if you can work more, first of all, you are flexible. You may work daytime or nighttime, or your traders the same. If you have some traders who work for you the same, they could work daytime or nighttime, it doesn't matter. And at the same time, if you want, you may stop always like getting some rest or things like that. Nobody presses you and you don't waste kind of rent time and so on or customers time. That's why it's everything uh, is okay in this type of market. Uh, however, there are certain session when uh, the market's opening. You understand, but every every in every minute, somewhere even when here is night time, somewhere is daytime. For example, in Japan is daytime. In that case, uh, some banks are working there. That's why the currency market always works. So let's in this case like make some totals and check free pricing supply and demand is for all of businesses let's check about liquidity level okay on industrial business is medium on real estate is low of course and financial market is plus entrance exit level uh, on industrial business is high quite high real estate it's kind of low because you can use even some loans or whatever financial market is much lower i mean you can enter with very very small deposit whatever it is you can even take 10 pounds and get go and get change exchange them to dollars and then exchange them back you already could make some okay there are a few cents but anyway you could make you get inside the business but if you use uh estate you cannot get there with 10, 10 pounds of course 10 pounds is not a serious amount but anyway i mean there is kind of no no entrance level in some businesses and there is a certain entrance level in our business managing possibilities okay in industrial average is kind of medium or low it depends on what if it's a factory it's one thing it's a managing of a shop is a different thing if you take low, uh, real estate managing possibilities could be different too i mean it's anyway a bit difficult uh, for for the financial market is the highest managing possibilities i mean with a few buttons you can check everything what happens and you can stop every deal or open a deal geolocation yes this is the most the most important thing and on real estate it doesn't it cannot be in industrial business the same it can be on financial markets for sure uh, manipulation possibilities so it's we can check it. industrial leverage is high and real estate is high and in low is very low in financial markets working hours okay everybody understand how it is so finally you understand why you can use financial markets next we can discuss we will discuss by the way about the how the prices are made and how this all works